Okay, I'm shooting the moon at just 25x when it goes down. Mm, no x. Okay, zero. Fifteen. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty now. Fifty. Eighty. Electromagnetic plus. Another one. It's February the 16th, 2011. It's about quarter after 9, 20 after 9 p.m. Lots of electromagnetic pulses. I'm not touching the zoom, it's at 80x. That's a real strong one. One after the other. There's something right there that I'm not supposed to be looking at. Another one. My hand holding the camera. Another one. Lots of electromagnetic pulses coming out to one. It was the same today at 5 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. You could see then that the moon was uh, just a hologram, and so is this. That's all just an image. Those uh, orbs or spheres, they're not an image, they're for real. But the moon image and the large uh, moon sphere, that's uh, just an image. I took some photos where it looked like a real round and big saucer, perfectly round. I'll see later. It's possible that it could be a saucer, but uh, I don't think so. I'll see later to make sure. I'm at 80x, so I'm not moving anything. That's a strong electromagnetic pulse. You can feel it coming in. It's very strong. Like one after the other. Another one. Wow. Just coming right in, in a row, one after the other. One after the other. Look at that. Uh, now you told me that's the moon. Rocks don't do that. Rocks just don't blur out cameras. Look at that. One after the other. They're trying to turn off the camera, but I have uh, lots of batteries in it. They're, they're going to have to do much better than that. Okay, so this is not the moon, and you don't have a moon. It's an illusion. There hasn't been a moon for a while now. At least two years that I'm aware of, there has not been a moon. Okay, so that's not the real moon. A real moon you could take a picture of. This thing, look what it's doing. You can't even take a picture or a video or anything. I'm not touching any adjustments on the camera. It's at 80x and it's been at 80x since I put it at 80x a few minutes ago. And all I'm getting is uh, electromagnetic pulse feedback right from the moon and they're strong too I can feel them like one after the other it's too much 
all those orbs, they maybe shifts the moon, I don't know. I think it's uh, just an image, but there could be a ship right behind it that's very large. And just putting that illusion on the bottom of it, so we see, I think it's the moon, but whatever it is, it's in our atmosphere. This is not uh, millions of miles away, or a couple hundred thousand miles away, I should say. And that, that image is not in space, that's in our atmosphere. I mean, look at this. One blur after another. You tell me that a stone or a rock can do that. I doubt it. No, it's not even worth wasting film on it. You can't even uh, look one after the other. The more they do that, the more they prove that that's not the moon. And they're just proving it over and over. Look at that. Okay, so now you know. There is no moon. The moon's gone a long time ago.
I'm pointing the camera right at the cluster and it goes invisible. It's supposed to be the lower corner of the angle on the left side of Orion and it's supposed to be a star. I'm at 63x and you saw it come right at me as soon as they turned on the camera. That's no start. I'm at AEX. So I zoomed in more and it went back up farther away. Now it's smaller. I don't know any star that moves around that much. And it's no planet. Let's see if anything's around it. 20x. Thirty nine X. Sixty, eighty. 